Most students fail exams not because they are not intelligent, but mostly because they use long techniques to solve questions or answer questions in an exam. And sometimes they lack confidence. In this video, I'm going to look at five tips on how to write exams for good marks. Yes, you heard me right. In this video, I'm going to share with you five things you need to do in an exam so that you can pass an exam with an easy. So if you want to have a feeling like this one, or you want to show your certificate after the results have come out to the world, sit back and watch this video up to the end as I'm going to show you five tips that will never fail you in an exam. So without further ado, let's go to tip number one. The first tip is read the questions at least twice. The reason you are reading the question at least twice is because you are trying to understand the question. Make sure you try to understand the question. So read it twice. Don't be cheated when you read once and you feel like you have understood the question. Don't be cheated with that. Go back again and read the question for the second time. Imagine the pain of answering a question you felt you have understood wrongly because you did not fully understand the question. It's very bad. You go out counting that you have managed to score maybe two marks there and to find that you have gotten zero. It's very painful because of lack of understanding of the question. That is also painful. After you have understood the question, the next thing you need to do is correct the data. You are going to be given a question. Try to correct any information that is useful for your answering of the question. Let's take, for instance, of this mathematical question, which is calculate the speed of the car that traveled for four hours to cover a distance of 320 kilometers. This is the question. If you read this question once, yes, you may fully understand. But I advise you, read it twice so that you fully understand. Once you have understood the question, correct the data. What are you given and what are you asked to look for? So, in this question, we are going to start by looking for what you are already given. So, let's go through the question again. Calculate the speed of the car that traveled for four hours. Let's stop there. For four hours. That means we are given time which is four hours. We can continue. To cover a distance of 320 kilometers. When you read that, we are also given the distance which is 320 kilometers. However, what is the question in this statement or question? The question is, calculate the speed. So we ask to find speed. Now, speed in that statement is not given. So we're going to put question mark to speed. Now we know that we are looking for speed. So you can do this on the love paper or just in the, if you're using the uh, same paper for answering the question, you can write it on the other side where you're not going to use. This will help you to remain constant with the information and also to know what you are looking for. Now, I'm not solving questions, so pause this video and solve this one. Let me see the answers in the comment section. Otherwise, let's go to tip number two. The second tip is keep a good pace. So it's very important in an exam, as you write your exam, to keep a good pace. You move with time. You already know that each exam comes with a certain number of questions with a certain amount of time to be taken to answer all those questions in the paper. So it is your duty as a student to determine how much time you spend on each question. So you make sure you keep a good pace. In other words, I'm saying do not waste a lot of time on one question. So make sure you spend the time that you have allocated to each question to answer each of those questions in the paper. Don't waste 
lot of time on one question. Imagine wasting a lot of time on a question that has got two marks and lose on five or ten questions that has got 20 marks because of your wasted time on a first question. With that being said, let's go to the third point that will help us to manage time in an exam. So tip number three is answer easier questions first. So um, any examination paper comes with different uh, questions from different topics. Uh, what determines which question is easier for you a student is uh, the topics you understood well and those you did not understand well. So <clears throat> those topics which you understood well, those questions will be easier for you and focus on those questions first. But I've seen a lot of students that make mistakes because they are targeting higher marks. They end up trying to solve questions that are hard for them and waste a lot of time that will make them to start answering the questions later on, which they are comfortable with in a hurry. Hence, they make mistakes because they are very fast in solving. And this leads them to lose the marks that were supposed to be attained by them because they knew the topic and those also marks where they are not very sure of. So, here is a tip I want to share with you. Do not be tempted by bigger marks. Even if you see a certain question has five marks, well, is the question you are conversant with has got one mark. Go for one mark and solve the question that has got one mark. And don't go for the one that has got five marks if you are not conversant with the, the topic which where this question is coming from. So go for the easier uh, questions first. Okay? Now, there is a scenario where you can find yourself that um, there are two questions that have got different marks and uh, both of them are easy okay both of them are easy what you need to do is go for the one with the higher marks okay so if you have got two questions that are easy for you and the other one has got higher marks the other one has got less let's take for instance there is another question that has got five marks the other one has got two marks you can take those with higher marks first you solve them you solve them you make sure that you solve them even if um you may be time is short, you run out of time. At least you have solved those which have got higher marks and they'll give you uh, good marks at the later uh, after marking the questions. So basically, this is what you need to do. Start with the easier questions first. So you focus first on easier questions first. After you have answered all the easier questions, then you can go to the tough ones. And when you're going to the tough ones, uh, go gradually. Don't go to the toughest. Go to the one. Okay, so the fourth tip is do not leave any question or questions unanswered. So when you are writing an exam, make sure you answer all the questions that you are asked to answer. Okay, even if questions are hard, you should try to answer all the questions. Don't leave blank spaces in your answer sheet. Try to attempt every question in the question paper. You should do this because you can get some marks for the steps. For instance, there is a question that you are not very conversant, but you have some concepts, you have got some idea about that question. Try to answer it. You may get the final answer wrong, but the marker also mark, give you marks for the correct steps you have taken. I know you might not be sure that the steps you have written are correct, but try them. Have you ever gone out of the exams and you have left the question or you have answered the question, but you didn't know that you are answering it right? But when you go out, they tell someone or your teacher tells you that uh, that's how the question was supposed to be answered and you guessed right. So that's what you need to do. Every exam and every student uses some guessing uh, skills to get certain marks. And there is no exam that you can write without using a bit of guessing. I do not encourage guessing. It's better you go in with the knowledge of uh, your subject. But if you guessing work can be used, it's better you guess rather than leaving 
uh, blank spaces. So, attempt all the questions. Okay? Attempt all the questions. But I do not mean that, uh, for instance, you are writing mathematics paper 2, uh, maybe first two questions are compulsory, you answer them, then section B, they ask you to choose three out of the six questions. Don't answer all the six questions. At least pick three. The questions, the number of questions you ask to solve, attempt all of them. So if you choose the three questions, attempt all the questions in those three questions. That's what I mean here. I don't mean to attempt all the six questions. I've seen some students who attempt all the six questions and leave the work of choosing the questions in the hands of the marker. You should know that the markers will have a lot of work to do. Giving them an extra job will not put you to an advantage. In fact, it will disadvantage you. Depending on the marker, some markers will give you zero from that section. Some, they will just mark the first three questions and leave the others. So if you want to get higher marks in an exam, please follow the instructions and attempt all the questions. Let's go to the next tip, which is the final tip. The fifth tip is do not be looking around. This is the other thing I've seen that distract uh, students. They keep on looking around. This will lessen your concentration on the question. If you want to concentrate on your questions and do well in an exam, don't be looking around. Just focus on your answering of the questions. If there is a place where you need to mind your business is in an exam. Make sure you mind your business. It doesn't matter who is whispering, the pacing of the invigilators, your focus should be only you and the paper. When you do this, then you are going to do well in an exam. So basically, these are the five tips we have to follow. You have to follow as a student in an exam. So let's take a look up of what I've shared with you. So the look up of what we discussed here is... One, read the question at least twice. Two, keep a good pace. So when you're writing an exam, keep a good pace. Three, answer easier questions first. The second, the fourth tip is do not leave any question unanswered. The fifth tip is do not look around. So these are the five tips you need to follow in an exam and I assure you, you are going to do well in an exam. If you don't want to be like this lady who is frustrated, not happy with the results and you want to be like this lady who has passed the exam, then follow these tips and everything will be well. Thank you so much for watching. It has been Easy Learning Z Mathematics. The future is bright. See you in the next video and God bless you.